James Buchanan. Put Jimmy up there. Now, James Buchanan was the 15th president of the United States. He served his country from 1857 to 61. Abraham Lincoln replaced Jimmy. Jimmy was a one-termer from Pennsylvania, just like Joe Biden. Jimmy was from Lancaster. Joe Biden's from Scranton. Okay, Jimmy Buchanan was the worst president in the country's history. Why? Because he didn't do anything as the North and the South were tearing each other apart verbally. He even denied there was much of a problem. And then all of a sudden, there was a civil war. And Jimmy had no solutions. He didn't even engage. And it was the biggest disaster in American history. Now, my pal, symbolically, Harry Truman, weighed in on James Buchanan. I have Harry's letter in my private collection, and it is very instructive. So Harry's writing to a woman friend, right? And he's basically saying, quote, not basically saying, is what he's saying. History will tell you that old Buck, that's Buchanan, was short on decisions. And had he acted with the firmness of Andrew Jackson, for example, in his dealing with the problems of the South, the war between the states might well have been averted. That was written May 18th, 1959. Again, that's in my private collection. It's absolutely true. Now, Joe Biden reminds me of James Buchanan. Is Joe Biden going to be that bad in the end? I don't know. Could he be? Yes, he could. Yes, he could. It's the same kind of denial about what the root problem is in any social situation. He just won't acknowledge it, doesn't acknowledge it. So 200,000 foreign nationals crossing the southern border every month, encountering Border Patrol and um, uh, DHS agents every month, 200,000. Joe's not worried about that. I'll put Kamala in charge of it. She's going to deal with it, but she's not actually going to go down to the border. I mean, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, just like James Buchanan was embarrassing. James Buchanan just sat there in the White House. He didn't do anything. Meanwhile, the whole country is falling apart. Now, is the United States going to fall apart under Joe Biden? I don't think so, but we'll suffer. We'll suffer economically, socially, in the crime zone, in the immigration zone. We're all going to suffer under Joe Biden. Because I've seen him in action long enough, six months now, where I know he doesn't have anything. He brings nothing to the table. And this is not a partisan viewpoint. I think the Republicans are largely pinheads. You know that. They're not the greatest problem solvers in the world. But compared to Biden, they're Julius Caesar. (laughs) You know? All right. James Buchanan. Got to love him. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201. Or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.